hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am so sorry about that background noise you guys <laughs> plane pa passing overhead so today i am going to show you guys how i do my blowout using this new revlon blow dryer that i just recently purchased so i just was showing you guys a little texture shot of what my hair was looking like beforehand and i'm just twisting that back up i have already gone in and washed my hair and now on to showing you guys what i use for my moisturizing products for my lco in this case i use lcb and you will see why i say b <laughs> so i use the lemongrass leave-in by allocay my love you guys already know this I use the cuticle control 24 karat leave-in lotion by the main choice for my cream technically and I use the Shea yogurt hair moisturizer by Alec Hay, hence why I said B because Shea butter so to speak um, instead of the oil and I was watching YouTube you guys so don't mind me <laughs> and I use the Cantu Shea butter thermal shield heat protectant and this was my first time using this heat protectant i just picked it up um and this is the revlon one step hair dryer and styler now if you guys are anything like me and watch a lot of natural hair um videos and things online you guys have most definitely seen this blow dryer tons of times already here is just a close up of what the top portion where the brushes look like and the design of it. It is very lightweight, which I loved. And these are the settings for the blow dryer. And I then went in and split that section in two, clipped the other part away and begin working on this section here now i'm going to go in with my heat protectant i used a lot i did not skimp on the heat protectant because i wanted to ensure i was not going to get any heat damage so here we go you guys <laughs> and just fyi i went very slowly um it did not take long at all to blow dry each each section so all my sections were about this size here it took me maybe two minutes to get it completely blown out amazing I think my whole head took maybe about 20 to 25 minutes to complete and I have as you guys know a lot of hair so I was very very impressed by this um, I did use the high heat setting and boy is it hot so definitely make sure you protect your hair and you guys see the excitement and amazement in my face <laughs> i really really like this um then i just kind of went through and re-detangled just brushed through and i did go through on each section because some of them did have these like weird filling ends on them um not that i was going to straighten my hair or anything but i did go through and trim off like super scraggly filling ends and stuff like that i just didn't like the way it felt so then I retwist that section up and move on to the next heat protectant again. And then I'm going to slowly blow out this section. Now, I got this brush from Ulta. I will have the link down below if I can find it through Ulta's website. But I will link this blow dryer down below. It was only $39.99. So super great deal for this blow dryer. And here I'm just kind of coming in a little bit closer to show you guys. Um, and of course, once I finish that section, I add it to the one below. And I go through and I do the same thing. Cut off those little weird scraggly ends and move on. So now I'm going to twist this section back up. And I will be coming back. And when you see me next, I will have my whole entire head blown out. So... Again, like I said, this only took me about 20 to 25 minutes. So now, as you guys see, 
thoroughly blown out. My hair is 100% dry. I'm just gonna go back in and put some more of the Shea Yogurt Moisturizer on my hair. Now initially I had planned to do a perm rod set on my hair because I was going to a family reunion the next day. However, I honestly was filming this at about three something in the morning. <laughs> so I did not do that, but I will put up a shot of what hairstyle I did do. This came out great. I'm gonna give you guys a little slow-mo action in a second, just so you can see how much body it has. Y'all, look, look at this, look. <laughs> so much body, it was not remotely stiff. I definitely like this heat protectant a lot. Um, and of course, the Shea Yogurt definitely helped as well. But you guys, that was pretty much it for this video. I really, really enjoyed using this. I will not use it a lot because I don't use heat in my hair often at all. But just wanted to show you guys my results. So definitely feel free to comment down below, subscribe. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye.